Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series uh, What If Disney Plus Wave 2. Here we have the zombie Captain America figure. So before I get into it, everyone's going to ask, where did you get it? Where did you get it? How? How? It was so early, all this and that. Toy Snowman in Canada, they actually got it, um, and I was able to get my order in, and he shipped out uh, right away, and I got it actually the same day that I went down to Frank and Son for the, for the uh, Toy Migos uh, meetup. Um, so yes, Toy Snowman, link in the video description below. I'll have my referral link for the website. You get 5% off of your first order, so make sure to use that referral link um, in the video description below. I'm not sure if he's all out of his first batch of orders and if it's a pre-order right now, but always look out for any new waves or new figures that are going to be coming out because Canada really seems to be getting a lot of the stuff much earlier than, uh, earlier than we are in the state. So again, uh, toysnowman.com, link in the video description below. But anyway, here is Zombie Captain America. America. He is the double uh, packed figure in the case, so he might be easy-ish to get, um, and, but he doesn't have a Build-A-Figure piece for uh, that reason. But you can see the Disney What If logo there in the front, Zombie Captain America side artwork looking very cool of uh, a zombified Captain America, Steve Rogers. It's pretty awesome. We get this nice little Watcher logo there at the very top, Build-A-Figure Marvel's The Watcher. Here we have a look at the back of the package, which looks amazing. Love the artwork and style. It says Zombie Captain America. Captain America's team were the first responders to the zombie outbreak and its first victims. So that is interesting since we haven't seen the episode um, for Zombie Captain America yet. And I'm assuming Zombie Hunter Spidey is going to be a part of that episode. We haven't seen that episode yet. So I'm curious to know what's going to be the reason for the virus outbreak or the zombie outbreak outbreak what you know what's the one change or whatever that causes this universe to have zombies it'll be it'll be pretty interesting but there is a package let's get them open because I am excited okay so here is the zombie Captain America figure out of the package this thing is absolutely ridiculous like I never ever would have thought Hasbro would do zombie figures um, and I never thought they would go this far um, with them. Now, I don't have any of the Marvel Select zombie figures to do any kind of comparisons or anything like that. All I could tell you is kind of what I see here. And this thing is insane. Like, the holes that are straight up in his leg, like, the gore and the blood that they put on this figure is not something I ever expected Hasbro to do, which is just absolutely insane. Hopefully, the show um, will be kind of dark as well and not where it's all, like, super funny and just overall fun and and could be kind of, uh, you know, for kids. Not, not saying it has to be, like, super scary and super gory or anything like that, but, you know, there's some dark themes and stuff, like in the Doctor Strange episode. Um, maybe zombies will kind of be that way because I mean look at it. you got his rib cage showing he's got the chunks of meat missing from his left leg you got the bone showing in the right leg he's got the blood sp splatter all over his right arm I mean it's just kind of nuts and then he's got the blood on his head this thing is absolutely um, insane and incredible and it's done really really nice so let's zoom in and take a closer look at some of those really cool details that they did on this figure um and then we'll take a look at his articulation and go from there uh but first you gotta go over the accessories we have a shield that is all he comes with no build a figure part or anything like that but we get some blood splatter kind of on here so too bad this isn't like the newer style shield for john walker you know you could really use this um i mean you could just use it anyway but you know the scene where he, you know he um takes out that one guy from the Flag Smashers. Um, but it's it's all in there pretty good. It's a typical MCU shield. I don't think there's any differences there. We just get that added blood splatter in a couple of different spots, but there we go. Now, zoom in on Cap. Okay, zoomed in on Cap. <laughs> Again, incredible. I mean, look at like, just kind of the torn apart flesh and everything. Like here with these parts of the skin and the muscle that's showing, look, it, I mean, that's a hole in there. Like you could see right through it on the other side as well. Like that's just crazy. We've got the blood on the chin. It's got all of his teeth miraculously, but just insane. Whited out eyes. We get a little bit of silver in there for the ears and for the A. And you could see it's kind of like a darkish 
um, like gold rusted look to it, kind of like on the star. So looking on the star, you know, where you would normally get a silver color, it looks like it's almost kind of like a rusted over. Like that's, that's insane what they do. You know, this darkish like color here because it's all dirty and gross looking. You got blood coming out. I mean, look at the rib cage that's showing there with blood splatter. Like that's crazy. You've got the bandolier thing, the straps here. That is actually a separate piece. That unfortunately just looks all really clean and brown. There's no blood splatter or anything like that on there. But they did sculpt in a big ass tear on the back where again, you can see the back of his rib cage. Look at his suit is all torn and hanging. Like the, the detail, and that's on the back of the figure that they actually put in the effort. You know, Hasbro doesn't usually do anything on the back of the figures, and yet they did this entire gash back here, and then the strap having been been all teared back there. Whereas on the front, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's it's pretty incredible. You know, they sculpted the tears of the of his suit right there. We get that you know, that extends out past the the elbow pad which is just insane. It is pinless as well, so we get new arms um, for this guy. Just just incredible effort. Got the blood there. The skin tone's a little funky, but it's gonna match the animation, of course. Um, but, you know, it's nothing to really be worried about. The, the belt here looks okay. We get gold for the buckle there, and it has like this speckled look to it. Looks like it's kind of rusted over. The legs are pinless and just look incredible. I mean, look, there's even holes on the right leg, which I didn't think there would be. On the left leg, you know, I had kind of seen it and everything. You have this massive gash. Um, but on the right leg, there's a little bit too. Look, they even painted the bone on the inside. You know, you have the gash and everything. It's just incredible the detail that they went on this thing. It's just insane. Now, I was worried, like, oh, you know, with these holes and stuff in the leg, is it going to be, like, soft and, you know, you could kind of bend it around. And it's actually pretty pretty sturdy. Um, it's not something where you can really flex it around or anything like that. So you should, really shouldn't have to worry. We get a lot of dark red in there for kind of the muscle color. You can actually see the bone in there, which is really cool. So you got all the flesh and everything that's torn apart in there. But then the bone that's actually painted, just incredible. Again, pinless there. Um, and then he's missing the boot on his right leg, and you have the parts of the uniform that's like sculpted and hanging down, and that's all pretty seamless. That, so that is actually pretty awesome how they do that. Um, and then the boot, which doesn't look dirty or anything, so that's a little unfortunate we didn't get any kind of wash there, but pretty minimal, minimal when you look at the crazy ass details of the rest of the figure. So kudos Hasbro, because damn, this thing is just insane crazy so while we're at it i know people were asking do mcu heads fit on these figures so here is the captain america civil war figure this is the one from the two pack that came with crossbones we'll see if this uh chris evans steve rogers head will fit on the zombie cap pop that head off it is a dumbbell joint there and he actually gets some blood splatter on his neck which is pretty cool um so i don't know why everyone wants to see all these head swaps um, so that's not really popping on there, but I mean, it's not gonna, it's gonna look funky, right? You're not gonna want to do that. It's not gonna really work, but if you wanted to do something like this, where it's kind of early on and he's still got his suit, um, it sits on there and it seems like it could sit on there at a fairly decent spot. Um, and of course it's not gonna peg on there, but you know, from the forward, it could be like, you know, he's recent into his change and there he is. Blues aren't gonna match, but it is what it is. But pretty cool nonetheless. And then this thing is decently articulated. When I first saw promo images, I was worried there was going to be no torso articulation. But happy to report, he can move around. So let's zoom out for that articulation. Okay, articulation for Captain America. He can look up that much. He can look down that much. You can get some crazy pi uh, pivot going on in his neck, which is good because, you know, he's a zombie. That thing's probably barely holding on. So you can move it around. All crazy things, of course. You can twist it around and just move it around um, however you want to do, which is really cool. The shoulders, you can get the shoulders to go up kind of all the way, which is awesome. You get a full rotation in there. This one with the shoulder pad on there doesn't quite go up as far, but you could still get it to go out quite a decent amount. You have the upper bicep swivel in there. You get a double jointed elbow like so, which is a very solid bend, and it looks pretty good as well. Wrists swivel, and they do hinge. As you can see there, we do have a double jointed elbow on this other side, and it's kind of an uglier looking elbow joint because this elbow portion right here, like the elbow pad, just makes it look massive. 
but you still get the double joint there, wrist and uh, swivels and hinges. He does have a glove on this one where he's lost the glove on his left hand. Um, he can pivot to his left that much. He can pivot to his right that much, which is pretty good. You can go back a little bit. You can come forward that much. So if anything, you know, it's unfortunate he can't come forward a little bit more, you know, as a zombie kind of like do some things like this and how he kind of walks around but you can't lean him forward a whole lot unfortunately but you know you could still really make it work on how what you're trying to do with him there is a waist swivel as you can see there and you can turn at the diaphragm joint as well legs go out that far apart can't kick forward that high you can kind of work it a little bit more not a whole lot you do have an upper thigh cut there you get a solid double jointed knee like so on that side and just about the same on the other side there the left leg does have a boot swivel which is good foot hinges down that much hinges up a little bit ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet uh, for the right leg there's no swivel foot hinges all the way down you get a little bit of hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet uh, there so uh, really good articulation the only minor thing would be not coming forward um, enough but I think he moves around pretty damn well so here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison to the Age of Ultron Captain America because I thought the blues would be kind of similar and that the suit might match a little bit. The suit really doesn't match any of the previous MCU um, Captain America figures. There are subtle differences and things, so there's real no exact match that this would have been based on. Um, so it is a slightly different design. So I, from that standpoint, I can't really pinpoint when it would have taken place that there would be a zombie outbreak. Um, so it's unfortunate um, at this point to really know, but um, hopefully the episode will air soon um, and we will find out then. So here is actually a different shield. The Age of Ultron shield was a little bit different now that I, I'm actually looking at it and seeing. What the hell did they do way back then, Hasbro? It was a much bigger shield and then you could see the star didn't have those lines in it then. Um, so kind of interesting, but um, he's definitely a little bit bigger than like the Age of Ultron Captain America, but they're all about the same size. A um, little bit of a size difference, but um, not much. Okay, and that is my review of the zombie Captain America figure. Um, you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of this figure. I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm 100% shocked that Hasbro would actually be able to do a zombie figure. So kudos to Marvel and Disney for allowing it to happen. Um, but... Now we want more zombies, right? We can't just have the one zombie figure. Uh, whether there's going to be more Disney Plus, what if figures um, remains to be seen. I would love to see more, uh, but I understand if they're not going to, if they were only going to stick with the one wave. But hopefully we get more. Hopefully we get some crazy things going on. You know, we see that there is a zombie Iron Man in it. Uh, we know Winter Soldier's in that episode, but he doesn't look like a zombie. Based on the figure, Zombie Hunter Spidey, um, we, he's going to be in it. So hopefully we get some more figures. I'm I'm loving the wave from, <laughs> from inside the package. Zombie Captain America is the only figure that I've opened up so far, but it truly is probably going to be my the the wave of the year for me anyway um, I love MCU figures so it, it's it's kind of big time for me and this thing looks incredible can't wait for the episode um, so I'm really excited but what an awesome figure again highly highly recommend this one I think a lot of people are gonna pick it up whether you don't like movie figures or MCU figures or anything like that um, I think you know it, it doesn't really it's not exactly comic but I think a lot of people will 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 really like this figure for what it is a zombie Captain America figure it's amazing again I got mine from toysnowman.com link in the video description below use my referral link um, to get five percent off of your first order um, and then do keep in mind they are based in canada but shipped to the u.s and in fact the new thing is if if your order is over a hundred dollars you get free shipping to the u.s um, which is pretty cool so there is that um, but awesome awesome figure can't wait um, to hear what you guys think of it if you guys like the video please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so and as always thank you for watching